Hello. Chiller wants to know what scares you in April. Is it overgrowth and yard work at the onset of spring? Is it increased testosterone at your local watering hole? I'm sure they are all just perfectly terrifying. So, to escape from it all, come to Chiller Theater Expo 2010, where I was once again situated at the Parsippany Hilton in Parsippany, New Jersey, plowing through a host of vendors, fans, toys, more toys, horror villains, horror creatures, friends, foes, fantastic TV movie personalities and stars. The word fan is short for fanatic, and that's what we are when we go to a chiller theater convention in spring. Um, do you like wrestling? Yes. Nice. Who's your favorite wrestler? Everybody. But we who love cinema or genima, we devote our time and attention to personalities. Personalities like Lou Ferrigno from The Incredible Hulk and the documentary Pumping Iron. Ruggiero Deodato, director of Cannibal Holocaust, The Barbarians, and Cannibals. Curtis Armstrong, the man to play the Joker in the Batman OnStar commercials, also seen in Better Off Dead, Moonlighting, Revenge of the Nerds, and American Dad. Megan Frannick from 30 Days of Night. Tura Santana from Faster Pussycat Kill Kill and Astro Zombies. Serena Vincent from Cabin Fever, Not Another Teen Movie and Power Rangers. Sexy 60s and 70s goddesses Martine Beswick from Seizure from Russia with Love, Thunderball, and Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde. And Caroline Monroe from Dracula, Captain Kronos, and The Spy Who Loved Me. Michelle Lee from Family Guy and the film Along Came Polly. William Forsyth from Rob Zombie's Halloween, Devil's Rejects, and Dick Tracy. Sally Kellerman from M.A.S.H., Back to School, and Sliver. Jeffrey Combs from the Reanimator series and Batman Brave and the Bold. Frank Vincent from The Sopranos, Casino, Goodfellas, and the video game series Grand Theft Auto. Richard Chamberlain from The Thornbirds, Shogun, TV's Desperate Housewives, Nip Tuck, and the film I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry. Christine Elise from Beverly Hills 90210, ER, and Child's Play 2. Sherilyn Fenn from TV's House, Twin Peaks, and a rare appearance as Harley Quinn in the TV show Birds of Prey. Ben Davidson from Conan the Barbarian. Christana Loken from The L Word and Terminator 3. Alice Cooper from the film Nightmare on Elm Street 6, Prince of Darkness, and, well, he's a rock star, so we couldn't get to see him. Vendors have ritualistically stored precious collectibles for years of their life, only to open the time capsule this weekend and let their pieces run wild. Is this, like... this represents about a percent or two of what is currently inhabiting mainly my basement. Uh, some things I purchase at retail in the store. Uh, but I have been collecting. My own personal collection has been going on for about 20 years now. Mainly Star Wars merchandise. But I also collect uh, 
alien Monsanto. Very sort of things. Too much, too much to go into. Why? Uh, why Star Wars? I've had a fascination with Star Wars ever since I was little. Seven, my seven or eight, my, my Star Wars toys. They were also all boys on the block. So. We're here at Chiller Theater talking to Rick Frayne, the cover artist for the Chiller Theater programs, and we've shown you some of his art, and we're just going to ask him, you know, about how long he's been doing this and what's going on. So, hey, Rick. Hey, Simon. How you doing? Good. How long have you been doing the program covers here for Chiller? The program covers about five years. Five years, and you, you're a, a tremendous talent. This art that you've got here is just amazingly lifelike. And I mean, do you have a special approach to art that you take? Did you uh, learn from someone? I went to school, I had formal training. Okay, and I understand you have a gallery. Is that here in New Jersey? It's in Delaware. It's in Delaware. Yes, okay. Wilmington, Delaware. Is there any piece that you have that you've done that was really your favorite or really meant something to you? Ooh, that's a hard one. I'd say my newest piece is probably the, my favorite one, and that would be the one of my wife and I. Oh yeah, this is excellent. We've got a shot of that. And uh, it's, I can't think of your face, the way you're making your face there. It reminds me of a character from some movie, and I just can't remember what it is. Our correspondent, John Pepe, delved into the mystery of Curtis Armstrong's Joker appearance on Batman On Star. This is John Carl Pepe at Chiller Expo 010, 20th anniversary Chiller convention, and I am here with the great Curtis Armstrong. He played Booger in Revenge of the Nerds, Snot on American Dad, and of course the Joker in a Batman On Star commercial, which I wish there were more of. I but do too. I was going to ask, when are we going to see the next one? I don't think you're going to see any more Joker cartoons, you know what I mean? This is Karen Boyd from OnStar. I got a signal your airbag went off. Should I send for an ambulance? Everything's fine. Send at least a fourth in May. I'll contact them right away. <laughs> that Joker has been supplanted I know. forever. But you did a great job, so it's a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank uh, you. So, is this your first Joker convention? It's my first convention at all. Oh, wow. And uh, how do you find the Chiller convention? That was the experience. Uh, it was uh, it was great. I really enjoyed it. I I didn't know what to expect, and uh, but it's been very very pleasant. We met a lot of nice people, and of course I've got friends here anyway. Christine and Bobby Carradine. So you know it's and and meeting other people that I have only known from their work has been interesting. So it's been great. Excellent. Excellent. Did you come back? I do. Would you say you're chilling a chiller? I would say I'm chilling at Chiller. Our correspondent, Simon Hancock, had this to discover. Honey, I'm home. Hey, it's Simon Hancock here at Hilton Persephone. We're talking to Tora Satana, star of Faster Pussycat, Kill Kill. Hi, Tora, how are you today? I'm fine, Simon, how are you doing? I am super, thank you. Now, let me ask you a question. How was it working with the director? What was he like? With Russ? Yeah. Uh, working with Russ was fun because Russ was very laid back. You know, he uh, he basically would let you do just about anything that you wanted to do. Uh, his dialogue for the film was a little in the 40s, so I told him I said they don't talk like that now, and we he says well put in whatever you want, you know, and that's where we got. You won't find it down there, Columbus, and I don't try anything, I just do it, you know. And a few other, you know, lines. <laughs> what was the most fun that you had on that uh, film? I mean, it sounds like you had some chance to do a little improvisation, but was there like any funny things that happened that maybe were outtakes or anything like that? Oh yeah, we had a tarantula that used to uh, keep us company. Was it somebody's pet? No. It was just a desert tarantula, and it would, you know, crawl up my leg, crawl up into my hair, and uh, any time we were sitting there taking it easy, uh, the other girls, you know, uh, Lori, well, she wouldn't go near it, but Hashi did. You know, Hashi and I had fun with it, you know, because the thing was very tame. Well, it sounds like you had a really good time making that film, and are you having fun here at Chiller? We're really glad to have you back. Oh, I always have fun at Chiller because I love the people on the East Coast. You know, they're just very special to me. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us, and we hope you had a great weekend. I did, Simon, and I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. Twice on Sunday.